observe the following for your success tia manane mambo haya sana kwa ajili ya kufaulu kwako pale nyumbani nisikilize vizuri nataka kuongea na wewe na kupatia mambo haya ambayo ni saba, seven ambayo uyatie manane sana kama unataka kuona kufanikiwa kwa maisha yako ni muhimu sana ni mambo ya aina gani na yatoa nimeyatoa kwa ujumbe huu vile roho Mungu amenionyesha the content of this message to your life that is what i want to bring it to your life because i want you to understand why is this message coming to your life How, what what are you supposed to do in order to succeed number one, you must work hard to change your current situation fanya bidii kubadilisha hiyo hali ulionayo kwa nyumba yako hiyo hali ambayo uko nayo lazima ufanye bidii kuitoa bidii yako itabadilisha inaweza kuwa ni hali imekuzoea kutulia hapo ni hali iliyo mbaya ama hali iliyo kuwekea kiwango kuna watu wanaishi maisha ambayo wamewekewa kipimo cha hapo hawezi kupita hiyo hali kama nikagarika moja hawezi kununua gari nyingine kama nikaplotika moja hawezi kujenga plot nyingine kama ni shamba moja hawezi kuwa na shamba nyingine kama ni nguo moja kununua nyingine ni lazima andike barua ya kwamba mwezi huu silipi wafanyikazi ndio naenda kununua nguo Bwana anataka kuona ukiwa zaidi ya vile ulivyo. Anataka kuona ukiwa ukiwa umebandilika. Why do you have to work hard to change your situation? Number one, overlook what you have to admire. Overlook what you have already to admire what you don't have. Ukumbuke kwamba hiyo kitu uko nacho kuna kingine una. Na hautapata kujua hadi utakapofunika kile uko nacho na kukizaau ndio macho yako yaanze kutanzamea zile vitu hauna kwako. If you don't do that you are going to remain the same no change in your life. The moment you want to change your life first you have to forget what you have to get more. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus. Avoid being lazy to win seasons. Avoid being lazy to win seasons. Kuna majira. Kuna nyakati. If you want to win this situation where we are now you must work hard you must work hard kuna mtu alikuwa anafanya biashara ya kuuza maguo lakini alipojua ya kwamba sasa maguo haiendi zaidi kwa sababu iko na point of conduct ya ugonjwa wa covid 19 wamebandilisha sasa wengine wanauza matunda they did not raise and say tutangojea mpaka hii ipite no walibandilisha hiyo wakaingia kwa season ile imekuja you have to work hard to win seasons that's what i mean you tried something it's not working change to another one before you get to the third change you are going to get the correct one for your life praise the name of the lord jesus don't compare yourself only with the people of your standard of life acha kujilinganisha na watu wale wa kiwango chako pekee angalia wale wako juu zaidi ndio waende juu angalia mtu ambaye ako mbele yako wacha wifu alilia akiwa kando ya barabara akapiga kelele hana macho walio na macho akamzuia wataki afike huko akasema no nitapigana mpaka mwenye kupeana macho anisikie nasema leo katika jina la Yesu Kristo wewe ambao unataka kuinuka kwa biashara labda hata wengine wako mbele yako wataki kukuona huko lakini tia bidii mpaka siku moja wakute supermarket yako ikiwa karibu na wao na watajua kuna Mungu ambaye ana uwezo huo katika jina la Yesu Kristo in the name of the Lord Jesus praise the name of the Lord Don't compare yourself with the people of your same standard. But Bwana sifiwe. Number two, be more concerned on the things of heaven to attract the heavenly operations over your lives. Weka mawazo yako sana kwa mambo ya mbinguni ili kakufungulie jia ya kupata faida ukiwa ulimwengu huu. Kama mbingu la Mungu alida kubaliana na wewe, ulimwengu huu utakukataa. Baraka za ulimwengu hautapata. Lakini ukija kupata anga ya mbinguni kikubaliana na wewe, baraka sitakuja kwako, ushindi utakuja kwako. Mafanikio itakupata tu hata ukiwa kwa dunia hii iliyo na iliyo na upinzani mwingi sana. Lakini mbingu la Mungu likisema ndio, dunia itatii kwa sababu anga ya Mungu iko juu anga zingine zote katika jina la Yesu Kristo. Pigie bwana Yesu makofi mengi. Control your language to speak more about God. Control your language. Sometimes people are failing because of the language they use. The language they use it fights them. It kills their destinies. Lugha zile wanatumia zingine zinaua hatima za watu. 
mafanikio inafunchika your language must attract to the kingdom of god your language on this world lugha yako ikaweze kuvutia bingu la mungu make your mind concerned to meditate the word of god akili yako iweze kuwa very concerned about meditating the word of god meditating now i'm preaching to you right now you are listening to me you must sit down and go through the passage read understand what does this has to do with me meditate about this message about your life because it is being directed to you as a person to bring help to change the nature of your understanding to change the nature of your life when i say nature the nature of this person was to live in blindness but when jesus came he changed that nature akampatia hali nyingine ambayo ilikuwa imeondolewa kwake kuna mambo ambayo imetolewa kwako na inatakikana kurekeshwa kuna vitu ambazo unasaili kuwa nazo na siko sasa ulikuwa tajiri leo wewe ni maskini na vile mati, mashida iliingia pesa zako labda zimekuliwa na magonjwa na mandawa and today i'm speaking to you use the language of the lord to change the nature of your life the nature crucify your body from misuse of the devil and use it to serve god crucify your body usikubali mwili wako tumikishwe na adui kwa kufanya mahasi kufanya maofu bali kubali utumike kwa kufanya kazi nzuri ya Mungu ili ukaweze kuleta mabadiliko ukaleta mabadiliko kwa maisha yako watu ambao wanakuwa tu active kufanya mambo yale ambayo italeta sifa kwa wanadamu lakini wafanye mambo ambayo italeta sifa kwa ajili ya Bwana wanatumika kufanya vitu ambazo zitaleta sifa sitafanya watu wa wasifu lakini wafanye mambo ambayo italeta sifa kwa Mungu sitafanya watu wa sifu Mungu naongea na wewe mabadiliko yale ambayo yatakuja kwa maisha yako ni lazima kuwe na hatua ambazo umechukua mwenyewe umeelezewa kile unafanya na mikono yako unapotaka faida sije kwako jiulize je nimefanya nini pia kupeleka faida hii kwa Mungu nimefanya nini kitu ambacho kinaweza kuvutia bwana ama kinaweza fanya watu wakija watasema huu huyo Mungu ni mkuu kwa sababu kuna kazi imefanya na mtu hapo ya kuonyesha ukuu wa bwana wengine sasa wewe unataka kuhama nyumba ile iko unataka kwenda three bedroom na pasa yako amepatua onyo na landlord wa kanisa wachana hata na kanisa pasa yako mwenyewe amepatua onyo na landlord ahame nyumba anakaa man hana uwezo wa kulipa the person who is taking care of your spirit the person who is protecting you from all those calamities and epidemics what are you doing to attract god to make god happy what are you doing to make people know this god in heaven ignore your position and your enemy number 3 busa do yako na wao yote anayekupuusa kwa maisha yako if you want to succeed you have to avoid your enemies they will come to confuse your mind from what you had planned to do they will come to confuse your mind from what you are doing or what you want to do some of them will make make sure that you are not going to do anything that can attract the presence of god in your life others will make sure that they come and separate you from your your pastor wengine watakuja kutenganisha na mchungaji wako akuongee vibaya ili uone ni kama kwamba nakusaidia lakini anakupeleka deep 
to sink into problems. You have to be careful. Wali mpigia kelele ya nyamase. Nyamase wanapigia watu kelele. Akajua hawa wanakataa kunisipata msaada. Akakataa kuwasikiliza na kuwati. Akapika kelele mpaka yesu wakasikia. Don't accept to listen to anybody who is reducing your faith. Anybody who is coming to separate you from your pastor or separate you from your Lord. You must ignore and ignore that person in Jesus name. Tell my man. Avoid them. They destroy destinies. These are the people. Enemies and opposition. They destroy destinies. Adui wote. Adui yako anakuja kuaribu. Usiwese kufa. Wana yesu asifiwe. Wakina na kuambia wacha. Uyo pasa enu za yotu naona kiumbiri tuwa sandaka. Unaona kama nakusaidia. Unakula pesa sile za mungu. Badae magojo inakuja. Unakula zile za mungu na zile uliweka kwa sina yako. Zote sinaenda unabaki mbila. Uyu mtu wamekusaidia hama hamekuwa. Uyu mtu wamekuwaribu. Don't listen to these people. Our watu na wakuwaribu. They don't care. Your success is a threat to others. If you don't know today. That's why you have an enemy. Your success is a threat to other people. The moment you succeed, some of the friends. Utakapo faulu maraviki wengine ulikuwa nao watakuacha. Watakuita bure. Utakapo soma abari sa watu wawa mbao ni meleta kwako leo. Utaona kuna watu walianza kulalamika. Kwa nini anansa kuambia watu wapone. Akitumia jina la mungu. La jina baba. Wakasema ni ye peke ya liye na uponyaji. Wakasa kuleta sababu. Si kwa sababu ya yesu. Lakini kwa sababu walitaka mtu ya kaya pale akiomba homba. Kuna watu wanataka wakaya hali hiyo milele. You have to be careful. How you interact with these people. And so today I want you to understand that your success is a threat to your enemies. A threat to your enemies. So limit your operations with your enemies. Limit your operations with your enemies. Limit your operations. The moment you see the opposition, people talking against what you want to do, Limit your connection with these people because they will kill your destiny. Finally, they will leave you with empty. Finally, they will leave you with they leave you with emptiness without anything to be proud of. You have to be careful and keep mostly keep your sacred with God. Number four, keep your mind. Keep in your mind that God is always ready to speak with you. Kila wakati mungu kote hari kwa ngena wewe. Usi, don't be limited by anybody. The Lord is always ready to listen to you. There is no given time that Lord is not ready for you. It is only you who is limiting yourself. It is only you who is limiting yourself. Mama huyu alikuja kwa Yesu. Akiwa na mwaga damu. Na ongea bari sa malko tano. Ishina tano. Mandiko na sema alikuja kwa Yesu. Akiwa na mwaga ndamu. Na Yesu alikuwa naenda kwa jairo. Lakini haku zui ya kumfikia mama uyu hata kama hikuwa wakati wake. Mana yake ni kwamba buwana yuko teari kila wakati kuongea na wewe. He does not give you specific time to interact with you. He is always ready to listen to you any time that you are ready. It is only you who is delaying yourself to speak to Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. He is always ready for you. And so don't limit yourself. Don't limit yourself unto the Lord. The Lord is ready to listen unto you. He is ready to interact with you. Stop limitations. Continue praying. Because it does not annoy God. Continue praying. It does not annoy God. It doesn't matter whether you pray 24-7. It also makes God happy. God is never tired with your prayers. So continue praying. It is only you who is limiting yourself. The moment you continue praying, the Lord is happy with that because it is His duty to listen unto you. I am chokeshi mungu kusikilisa maombi yako wewe ambayo metulia. Wewe ndiyo na jinyima na fasi yako ya kuinuliwa. Wewe ndiyo na jinyima na fasi yako ya kutembelewa na buwana. Buwana achoki na is never tired. Achoki na kusikilisa maombi yako. Pray. Read the word of God. The Lord is not tired. To see you reading the word of it. 
not reading his word it is only you who is limiting yourself acha choka na kuponya magonjwa hata kama jana ilikuwa kichwa na leo ni tumbo endelea na kuomba iwe ni kitumbo iwe ni mgongo iwe ni, ni macho iwe ni masikio iwe ni wapi he is not tired kuleta uponyachi kwako he is ready he never gets tired praise the name of the lord jesus be active in serving god his blessings are plenty his blessings are plenty be active in serving god wacha kuchoka baraka za bwana zimefurika zimejaa hauwezi kumaliza hata ukichukua saa hiyo ziko tu ziko hata ukichukua asubuhi after now another one you can take as many as you want because they are plenty they are full i'm talking to you wale nyumbani don't limit yourself before the lord don't be tired be active in serving god the blessings of god are plenty they are full there's nobody can take hautaenda kwa mungu akwambie america imechukua baraka zote ngojea tutengeneze hautaenda sudani mungu akwambie ngojea kwanza jioni siko simejaa 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 asiishi wewe ndiye unayejizuia bwana asifiwe what you lack god has it for you don't despair kile unakosa mungu ako nacho oja kwanza kutulia na ku fujika moyo na kuanza kuona kama iwezekani hicho kitu hauna kiko na Mungu ako nayo enda kwa Mungu God the Lord is going to give you he has it for you whatever you are lacking in your life it is ready it's ready for you it's only you who is delaying yourself praise the name of the Lord Jesus number 5 i'm talking to you increase your faith to see God ongesea imani yako kuona Mungu imani inafanya uone Mungu zaidi kwa nini uongezee imani Your faith will bring tremendous change in your life. Imani yako italeta mabadiliko makubwa sana kwa maisha yako. Mabadiliko makubwa. Imani. Nataka nikwambie kama sasa hakuna mikutano kwa makanisa lakini imani yangu iko zaidi ya vile ilikuwa hata wakati mikutano ilikuwa. Kwa sababu nime increase zaidi nataka kuona Mungu zaidi. Sijachukuliwa na hali vile ilivyo. No. Faith pleases God. Imani inafurahisha Mungu. If you want to make God happy, you must increase your faith. What, what is faith? Imani ni mtumaini ya kupata na kupokea mambo yale ambayo haijapata kuonekana. The things that you hoped for they are not even being seen but you have the confidence of achieving them in your life you are praying for you are sick but already you can see healing in your life it has not even yet happened but you know that I'm coming out of that that is where the lord comes to bring healing that is the road to your heal to your healing praise the name of the lord jesus Your faith carries your needs to God. Imani yako inabeba mahitaji yako kwa Mungu. Your faith carries your needs to God. Number six, extraordinary efforts reflects extraordinary miracles. Hiyo nataka uandike mahali. Extraordinary efforts attract extraordinary miracles. Bidii sio ya kawaida. Uleta miujiza isiyo ya kawaida. A simple as that. BD isiyo ya kawaida uleta miujiza isiyo ya kawaida. Au working hard brings surprise in a Christian life. Surprise. Some of the miracles that people speak about you cannot believe them. extra efforts efforts pace with the extra achievements wale watu ambao ufanya kazi ya Mungu kwa njia ya isiyo ya kawaida kwa hali ya juu wanaongea miujiza ambayo huwezi kuamini wengine nilipatiwa shamba ekatano na mtu 
wengine nilipatua gari na mtu bure wengine nilipata na hii wengine nilipatua promotion wengine nilifanywa mambo ambayo haisi ya kawaida hata wajui bwana asifiwe i've seen miracles in my life extraordinary miracles I'm talking to someone who can be able to understand all this because the lord is coming to do something in your life and the final one avoid shame in if you want to bring change into your life ondoa aibu wameshako kimtumikia mungu kama unataka kuleta mabadiliko ondoa aibu alipiga kelele watu wote wakageuka wamwangalie nani wanatupigia kelele akasema hata munichekelee ama munidharau nitapiga kelele sitaona aibu na hapo ndipo alipata macho yake akaondoka akiwa mzima kwa jina la Yesu Kristo alipanda juu ya faa aku hawakuona aibu akitoboa kila mmoja alikuwa anaangalia kelele ni ya nini inayofanyika juu mtu akiteremsha ni nani huyu lakini hakuona aibu hapo ndipo mtu huyu aliondoka akiwa mzima roho ya wete ikamuondokea bana asifiwe for the shame when you are doing the work of god doesn't matter if it is dancing dance for the lord wacha kuangalia watu doesn't matter what do they say you know why you are doing it don't listen to the oppressors listen to proposers oh don't listen to oppressors listen to proposers usisikilize wale wanaokugandamiza lakini wasikilize na wapatie nafasi wale wanaokuelekeza ambaye amekukuta umekwama anakuambia aya umefika hapo ah, wacha toka hapo kuna je ingine hapa ambayo unaweza ukapitia ukafika kule unaenda lakini wale oppress akikuta kwamba kuna kaukuta atajenga hiyo kuta iwe kubwa hata usione kama unaweza pita hapo nasema leo kwa jina la Yesu usisikilize wale wanaogadamiza ah, sikiliza wale ambao wanakuelekeza kwa ushindi katika jina la Yesu pigie bwana Yesu makofi mengi that is the life of success So don't listen to oppressors, listen to proposers. And admire the change you want to bring into your life. Admire any change that you want to believe. If you don't admire the good things that you want in your life, they will disappear from you. Believe in what you are. Uh, believe in what you are doing to change what others are doing to you. Ah, kuna watu waku sikiliza hivi. Believe in what you are doing to change what others are doing for you. Bwana asifiwe. Amini kile unafanya ndio badilishe kile unafanywa na wengine. Kuna wengine wanataka kubomoa, we amini vile unajenga. Kubomoa kwao watabaki nayo, we utazidi kujenga katika jina la Yesu. Wengine wanakuzuia, wachana kuangalia kuzuia kwao, angalia kutembea na kuinuliwa kwako na utawaacha hapo na kuzuia kwao. Watabaki wakiimba nyimbo zao lakini we wamefenja kwa sababu you believe ni what you are doing in Jesus name. Pigia bwana Yesu makofi mengi. I say and I want to repeat again don't listen to your oppressors but listen to your proposers in your life and you shall remain to be victor victorious in Jesus name pigia bwana Yesu makofi mengi Lord I thank you because you are mighty in the name of the Lord pale nyumbani nataka kuomba na wewe sasa napoenda kutamatisha sasa ino mikono yako hapo nyumbani funga macho yako naye nisikilize na wewe naye nitazama mali popote ulipo hata kwa YouTube ukipata na ujumbe huu ujue ya kwamba wamehesabika kwa maombi haya na maisha yako haitakuwa ya kawaida i want to pray with you wengine wenu naona ni wagonjo wengine naona kwamba watoto wao ni wagonjwa wengine naona kwamba wamekosa tumaini wengine naona biashara zao sasa zimeenda chini kabisa wengine wana mambo tofauti ambayo inawakumba katika maisha yao leo nataka kuomba na wewe wengine wanaota ndoto hata mbaya kila usiku kilala haupati usi ngizi unaota ukikimbizwa na wanyama unaota ukikula uki, uki, uki nyama unaota ukipitia jia ambazo sio sawa ni wewe ambaye nataka kuomba na wewe siku ya leo kama utaamini ujumbe huu na utaamini basi maombi haya ninaoenda kuomba na wewe inaenda kukutoa kwenye hiyo hali katika jina la Yesu funga macho yako nataka kuomba na wewe nataka urudie maombi haya sema bwana Yesu nisamee dhambi zangu na makosa yangu yote Kuanzia siku ya leo ninakimbilia kwako ili nikapate msaada wangu Niandike majina yangu kwenye kitabu chako cha uzima wa milele Nimekataa shetani na kazi yake yote na mizigo yake yote na kuanzia siku ya leo Yesu Kristo mwana wa Mungu Jo sasa unitangulie unilinde na unitetee Sema amen
Baba katika jina la Yesu na kushukuru ni kwa ajili ya msikilizaji na mtazamaji ambaye nanitazama katika runinga yake wote ambao wananipata katika kipindi hiki kwa YouTube na kule kwa Facebook na sehemu zozote zile ambazo wanaweza kupatana nami baba tena waombea kila mmoja katika jina la Yesu wale walio wagonjwa na laani magonjwa iwaondoke walio na kisirani na laani kile kisirani kiwaondoke katika jina la Yesu Kristo ninavunja hiyo milima waliowekewa mbele yote na iweka sambarale katika jina la Bwana ninaharibu kisirani kilichowekwa juu yao kuanzia siku ya leo katika jina la Yesu naachilia upenyo naachilia ukombozi naachilia kuinuliwa naachilia uponyaji naachilia shindi katika jina la Yesu receive it in Jesus name you are free toto deliver us in Jesus name sema amen basi kuanzia leo and endelea na kukiri kwamba umekombolewa endelea na kukiri kwamba umeokoka endelea na kukiri kwamba wewe huko huru na uko mzima na maisha yako kuanzia leo itakuwa na tofauti katika jina la Yesu pigia bwana Yesu makofi mengi